Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time viewing, please remember to subscribe, um, like, share, hit the notification bell so whenever a video comes out you'll be notified. If this is not your first time viewing, thank you for returning and privately at the end of this presentation we'll all receive a blessing. But before we go any further, let's have a quick word of prayer. Um, to set the atmosphere for a blessing. Father, we thank you so much for everything that you have done for us, that you're an everlasting God. We thank you for inspiring us to get together and share. And as we spend these few minutes together, we ask, Lord, that whatever is said and done, it will be to the honor and the glory of your name. In your son's name, we beg and ask. Amen. And so, guys, today I wanted to share a little bit about... Um, obedience obedience to god's will right and i wanted to start at exodus chapter 19 i want to say exodus chapter 19 i had it here i don't know why i skipped away from it um and verse 5 and it reads as follows now this is telling us what the lord promises if we are obedient to his will all right it reads, Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And so the Lord is telling us here that if we are obedient to his voice indeed and keep his covenant, we will be a peculiar people, we'll be his treasure on this earth. In this earth where everything belongs to him right and I wanted to talk about obedience today because it is so important that we realize that God does not take partial obedience right he wants what he requires nothing less and nothing more right and one of the requirements I wanted to zoom in on today is when the Lord tells us that if we are going to follow him, we must deny self. We have to take up our cross, deny self if we want to follow him. There's no going around it. There's no shortcut. He's not going to accept anything less or anything more. All right. And one example of that is in Matthew or where I, what I should say is um, one passage of scripture where we can find that is in Matthew chapter 16 and verse verses 24 through 26. Actually, we can just read 24 and 25. And it reads, Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man, if any man, right, will come after me, let him, deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. That sounds like a command to me, right? For whosoever will save his life will lose his soul, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. The Lord is telling us that we must deny self. and He's not going to take anything less. How God deals with partial um, obedience is... Um, one perfect example, or one example that I like to always remind myself of is how he dealt with Saul, right? Saul was um, given um, an assignment to go and annihilate all the Amalekites and their animals, everything, right? But Saul went in and he sprinkled a little bit of his human wisdom on there in his assignment. And he did what he was told to except he allowed self to interfere and he he allowed self reasoning to interfere and looking at the whole thing one might look at it as as, as i would you know i would look at it and say you know that's that's kind of wise and even maybe our earthly um earthly um managers would probably say that was a wise thing to do but in all reality, when we're looking at it at, from God's standpoint, he's not looking for us to, to help him to, to, um, 
to um, to decide what needs to be done and and to try to make the best decision because he probably did not make the best one himself or he doesn't need our help as far as that what he is looking for is obedience as simple as that be obedient don't question why he did why I, and I can imagine so I was probably thinking why didn't why didn't he tell us to um to take back the fat ones the ones that could serve us some purpose right and so he did just that human wisdom right and he got himself in some serious trouble because God did not accept that as obedience he saw it as actually disobedience so partial obedience does not count in God's sight as obedience it actually counts as total disobedience and so one might ask what does it mean for us to deny self why is it so important for us to deny self you know it is extremely important for us to deny self because uh, when you look over in Colossians chapter 3 and verse 2 it says set your affection on things above not on things on the earth self loves things on the earth and that's what gets us in trouble all the time loving things of the world self loves things of the world self loves to be exalted right self loves to be um defended you know if we are offended by by um our fellow man we love to plea our rights and Christ is says saying sometimes we need to our all the time yes all the time we need to give up our rights for peace sake no there might be times when you have to um state your right but if it's if it's um if it's a case where it's gonna take away glory from god the service you're giving unto god the lord wants you to give up your right he says vengeance belongs to him and he will he will take care right he will take care of all of that but we ought to do nothing that's going to take away um glory from god's name right and when we love self and um and continually strive to please self christ's cr the cross that we're bearing for christ now becomes a burden right because our our eyes are focused on things on the right and on things of on the left we're not focused on that cross that we're carrying or you know it's like um sometimes if you're in pain and you focus and keep your eye on um something positive right you know the pain becomes less right you know if we keep our eyes on god right keep our eyes on jesus stay on jesus meditate on his word do not look to the left or to the right go in stealth mode actually yeah stealth mode right and keep our eyes steadfast on jesus the cross will become a little bit lighter to bear right when we love the lord we seek less for this we seek less of um seeking self pleasure or self gratification we tend to seek more to uplift our fellow man and serve our fellow man so those are a couple of reasons why Christ is telling us that we should deny self because then his yoke becomes easy and his burden light when we deny self because if you want to know your greatest enemy just look in the mirror itself we are a danger to ourselves right wherever our treasure is there our heart will be if we are constantly defending self loving self pampering self and all of these things our hearts will be there with self and as a result we're not giving the best or best to our master we're actually giving god partial obedience right the lord tells us that when we deny self we will have to give up our rights sometimes right and it's okay it's okay because 
guess what? He promises that however anyone treats you for his sake, you'll be blessed. Right? And in the case of um, another way we can deny self is be careful of how we spend money on ourselves. It's a very tricky one. Because money doesn't belong to us. The Lord has loaned it to us. And we are supposed to be very responsible. But self wants, wants to be pampered. Right? And that's another reason why the Lord says that we ought to deny self. It's going to make our cross that we must carry become very heavy. Right? So denying self make the cross a little bit easier to carry. It makes his yoke easy and his burden lighter if we did deny self. And so, guys, that's what I'm going to leave you with today. I'm not going to go over very long. I don't want to be long. But we can make this part one. And then we, I can come back another time and we'll pick up from there and make it part two. But if you take nothing away from this video, remember that denying self makes the cross that we must bear here on earth a little bit lighter. It makes his promise more um, evident where he says that his yoke is easy and his burden light when we deny self.